Welcome to Roanoke County Business Partners. On today's show, we attend the ribbon cutting for the first new facility along the Plantation Road shared use path, Parkside Storage. We speak with Bob Archer to learn about Blue Ridge Beverage's current expansion project. Finally, we celebrate the grand opening of Farm Burgessa, which is a business that participated in the Gauntlet Business Plan Competition to hear about their experience in the competition and their fresh take on burgers. We are at the grand opening of Parkside Storage on Plantation Road. This is a brand new facility that's just opening and it's right along the reimagined Hollands area. And with me, I have Joe Thompson, the owner of Parkside Storage, to tell us about this new facility. Joe, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell our viewers about this facility. It's Huge. <laughs> yeah, so we have a 66,000 square foot facility. It's got 49,000 rental. And it's three stories. We have freight elevators. Um, it's an attribute to the corridor here. Um, it's, it's been a good construction process. We've got uh, activity already going, and we're looking to uh, really you know, be part of the community. I know, I saw you already got some RVs parked outside. People can rent space for those too, it looks yeah. like. Yeah, we have RV parking. Um, we were able to take them a little earlier than the grand opening, so that went well. Um, there's a, a lot of demand for that. Uh, the baby, baby boomers are you know, getting RVs and uh, they need a place to store them. Not all the homeowners associations or, or municipalities allow for certain, certain types of that storage for, for recreation. And this is a, a brand new facility. It's right here in the middle of the reimagined Hollands um, study area. And then it's also right along the new shared use path on Plantation Road. This building, the design of it in general, is has been kind of, it's elevating the standards already of this whole corridor. Can you kind of speak to that and what you all were thinking when you did this design? Yeah, so that was the goal. Uh, we actually looked at this site for a while and really thought that it was underutilized. Uh, it had been marketed for almost a decade. Uh, hotel, you know, retail, so nothing really worked for it that well. We have a hotel site across the street that had been rezoned. Uh, nobody was pulling the trigger. So I had done a feasibility study and found that this self-storage use was the highest and best use. So we ended up modifying uh, a similar structure that we had over at the uh, Parkside Commons development and actually making it more conducive to this corner site. We designed it with some of the, uh, yes, the suggestions from the Highlands Road corridor plan, and it came together very nice, very nice. And then do you think you'll find some benefit from being right here on the shared use path? Yeah, I, I think so. We, we see a lot of people walking up and down. Uh, the people who are walking up and down you know, tend to kind of look in our windows, that kind of thing, see what, see what uh, we have in here and see what the quality is. Uh, we also uh, are proud to be a part of that. You know, that was a long-term project that the county put together and did a lot of work with. And we feel like that we, we work together. Uh, it was a little trying at times with weather conditions and, you know, with uh, sites that butt up against each other while they're under construction. But, you know, at the end of the day, it worked out very well. Uh, I think our site, because of that shared juice path, sits up just phenomenally uh, on the road. I mean, as you come up that snake in the road, you know, near Honey Tree, and you, you your car is pointing directly at it. I mean, it, it's an eye catcher. If this do building doesn't catch your eye, you probably shouldn't be driving. <laughs> so I think it's uh, I think I think it's definitely an attribute. And they they complement each other. And then, so you all have space available to lease. You have units available if people are interested in, in leasing space or coming and looking at the facility. How do they? Like, yes, we we encourage you? anyone to uh, call us. Uh, it's 540-206-3444 here at Plantation. Uh, love have anyone take a tour. Uh, we also have a website, storeparkside.com. Uh, we even have 360 Google photos if you go to our Google Maps uh, page as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you so much for this great building and great addition to the Holland right. area. Thanks for coming in. Support your local farmers, growers, and craftsmen by visiting the Catawba Valley Farmers Market. Most products at the market are grown or baked within a 10 mile radius, which means you get fresh produce and baked items. Items you can find at the Catawba Valley Farmers Market include meats, seasonal fruits and vegetables, 
baked goods, eggs, jams, hanging baskets, potted plants, and local handmade arts and crafts. The market is held every Thursday from 3.30 to 7 p.m. mid-May through mid-October at the Catawba Community Center on Catawba Creek Road. The market is a collaborative project between the Virginia Tech Catawba Sustainability Center, Roanoke County, and Catawba Valley Brewing Club and the local community. We are at Blue Ridge Beverage and with me I have Bob Archer, the Chairman and CEO of Blue Ridge Beverage Company. Bob, thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's great to be here. You all have a lot going on these days with all of the new um, industry that's coming into the area. I know beer is very popular and you all are shipping a lot of that. How has that affected your business? Well, uh, it, it has been fun, I can tell you that, <laughs> and constantly changing. I'd say in the last 10 to 15 years it's changed more than it had in the prior you know, three decades, and a lot of it has to do with the growth of the craft beer industry. And of course, we're very interested in that also, and we represent approximately 80 of those uh, suppliers and brewers and, you know, have great relationships with all of them. And you all are in the, have just started an expansion recently, about 40,000 square feet. Right. Is that related to that Well, it's growth? a big part of it. Uh, we moved in this facility in 1985 in Roanoke County, and I uh, haven't touched it since, but during that time, with all the new suppliers, all the different packages, all the different brands, the inside of our warehouse look very different. Uh, instead of pallets stacked on top of each other, you have racks. So, uh, you know, we're just uh, out of space and we need to add another 40,000 square feet or so. And then what's the time frame for that? Hopefully phase one. You always add two months, but uh, it's <laughs> November, which mm -hmm. uh, is the warehouse portion, and then we're going to phase two, which the expansion uh, of the offices. Uh, we're on top of each other in here also, so it's, it's well past due. And then you all have been, Blue Ridge Beverage has been in business for 80 years, and the Archer family has owned it for almost 60 of those years, correct? I can count every one of them, I think. <laughs> but yes, uh, our family's been involved since 1959, and so we've been blessed and uh, you know, very pleased to be doing business here in, in the Roanoke Valley and Roanoke County. We're definitely glad to have you as a member of our business community. And what, you all are also very involved in community outreach and that sort of thing. What other, you know, what causes are you all involved in? What, how do you get involved in our community? Well, I think we learned this from our parents. Uh, you do business in a community for years and they, they set you up for success. And with a lot of help from a, a lot of great people, you need to give back. And we try to do that in a number of ways. Different events, uh, family members serve on different boards, everything from Bradley Free Clinic. Mm -hmm. uh, I've uh, been very fortunate to be asked to serve on the Radford Board of Visitors, for example. All of these play a factor in your community, and uh, you know, as long as we can do that, we, we, we enjoy doing it. Well, you are definitely an influential family for this area, and so thank we you. thank you for choosing Roanoke County for your expansion. We're really excited to see where your business takes you in the future. Uh, craft beer now, who knows what's next? So great. it's really great to have You've you been here. been a great partner. Thank you very much. And thank you. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for joining us. The Roanoke County Economic Development Department, in partnership with the City of Roanoke Economic Development Department, organizes a wide variety of free workshops for businesses and entrepreneurs. Whether you have a new business idea or have been in business for years, there is sure to be a workshop that matches your needs. Workshops include, but are not limited to, marketing, finance, apprenticeship programs, cybersecurity, programs to cut your business's electric bill, entrepreneurship, and much more. If you would like to learn more, please contact Jessica Fintel at 540-772-2185 or email jfintel at roanokecountyva.gov. We are at the grand opening of Farm Burgessa in Vinton, right here in the town limits. And with me, I have Ashley Overbay, who's one of the owners of this uh, brand new restaurant here. Ashley, thanks for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. So this is a new restaurant. Um, you all are literally <laughs> opening today. And how did you get the idea for this restaurant? It's farm to table burgers, right? Yep. The initial thought was from my brother-in-law, Jimmy Delgado, and um, who's also one of the cooks. Um, he had the idea he's always wanted to open up a restaurant, um, want to do healthy foods. Um, he's worked in the restaurant business for quite some time. Um, so he was like, hey, we should, we should do this. So me and my husband were like, yeah, let's do it. So 
um, we started researching and getting everything together and we kind of just made up the name like farm burger because burguesa is hamburger they're Spanish they're from Colombian descent so um, you know we just kind of made up the word. We were like, oh, farm burguesa. It's different, nobody has it. You know, we wanted to do something different for the community because we don't really have anything like that around here. And then the burgers that you all will be serving aren't just your typical burgers, right? No, They've got it's some all, flair. Yeah, <laughs> they're all local sourced um, and they have a little different things on each burger. Um, spice, uh, they have a Colombian flair to it. Um, there's just, there's a little something for everybody, I think. And then you participate in the gauntlet, and that's part of the reason how you all got to this point. How, have, how did the gauntlet competition help you all get to opening day? Um, gauntlet was a very interesting experience. Um, we kind of just fell, it kind of fell into our laps, so mm -hmm. to speak, um, when we were going and talking to um, Benton about you know getting our license and things like that and um, I went through it. It was a great experience I think it helped a lot with like marketing mentors like one of my mentors is actually one of the chamber people um, Justin Davidson and he's helped me out a lot like getting social media done and um, advertising um, but they went over a lot of things in the gauntlet like accounting and um, different ways that you can promote your business and I mean it was a great experience um, I really enjoyed it I would go through it again you know because you learn something new like I learned a lot of things that I didn't know um, and I mean I took a business class before um, but you know those the people there they're really dedicated in helping you and they want to help everybody so I think like the Advancement Foundation is fantastic and anybody who is thinking of starting a business should definitely look into the gauntlet, like really. And the the hive, the gauntlet, you yeah. know, the, it's right it's next, next door. door. Yeah. Um, so yeah. if you ever need more resources, I'm sure yeah. you can just, just walk, walk across. on over there. And they're they're so happy to help you. They're so such nice people. Like they're they're just welcoming. So old business, new business. They'll help anybody out, and I think it's fantastic. And then, so if our viewers are interested in coming to eat here, um, they can find you right here on Pollard Street. Right. And then, how can they find out more information? The website? They can go to our website, which is just farmburgessa.com. Um, we have Facebook. We have Instagram. We have Twitter. Um, our phone number. Um, you can now Google, and Farmburgessa will come up. So, um, yeah. I mean, and what are your hours? Um, we're going to be open Monday through Friday from 11 to 2, and then again from 5 to 9, and then Saturdays um, 12 to 2, and then again 5 to 9. And we'll be closed on Sundays. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for having well, us, and we're really excited about this new restaurant in Benton. Thank so you. thank you for all that you're doing for this community. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us. This is Brad Betcher with the Rona Blacksburg Regional Airport, asking that when your travel plans require air service, that you consider flying from home, your Rona of Blacksburg Regional Airport, your gateway to the world. We offer nonstop service to eight destinations, Atlanta, Chicago O'Hare, Philadelphia, Washington Dulles, Charlotte, and New York LaGuardia, in addition to Orlando and Tampa St. Pete, with over 450 destinations just one connection away. We are local, convenient, there aren't long security lines and no exhausting drive home. We employ people from the Roanoke Valley. Whether you're traveling for business or pleasure, the world is at your doorstep and you create demand when you fly from ROA. This has recently created more flights, competitive fares. In January, we added a second nonstop flight to New York LaGuardia. In April, Philadelphia service will be upgraded to regional jet service and a late flight from Charlotte will return. Thank you, Roanoke Valley, for your support. Fly local, fly from home, fly ROA. Information and details available at flyroa.com. Thank you for joining us for Roanoke County Business Partners. If you have any questions about this show, want to start a business, or need business assistance, please contact the Roanoke County Economic Development Office at 540-772-2069 or email jbrenchick at roanokecountyva.gov and you can always visit our website at yesroanoke.org.